So behind me I have a 2012 International Pro Start with an International Max Force 13 engine and I'm going to show you how to use the OTR reset tool to reset your fault codes, reset your after treatment system, and to start a Force DPF regen. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is reset your fault codes. You're going to go ahead and turn the key on and you're going to wait one minute and what you're going to want to do to reset the fault codes at the dealer level with OTR reset tool is you're going to want to plug this in the diagnostic port and wait one minute. Once you wait up to one minute after you set your timer, uh, you're just going to want to leave this reset tool connected for one minute to reset the codes. If you want to reset the after treatment system, you're going to want to plug this tool in and leave it connected for three minutes. So if you want to do reset fault codes, it's leave this connected for one minute. If you want to reset the after treatment system, you're going to leave it connected for three minutes. And then we're going to just go, go ahead and reset the fault codes. This one looks like it does have an active check engine light. So we're just going to go ahead and reset it. We already know what the fault code is. Um, because we were able to check this with OTR Diagnostics. So we checked the fault codes. We just want to go ahead and just do the reset. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and start the Force DPF regen with using OTR Reset Tool. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and just reset the fault codes. I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in and start a timer on my phone. After the tool is connected, you're just going to wait one minute for resetting the fault codes. Um, again, if you want to reset the after treatment system, leave the tool connected for three minutes. Um, and we're just going to go over the, the regen procedure. When you start a force DPF regen, we're going to want to make sure the truck's been warmed up. And once you start the force DPF regen, we're going to want to leave the tool connected. So to start a force DPF regen using the OTR reset tool, you're going to want to start the truck. You're going to want to just make sure everything is turned off as far as your engine brake goes, your parking brake is set. Um, your transmission or your clutch, everything is in neutral. And you wanna plug in the reset tool after the truck has been warmed up and started for at least one minute. After you plug in the reset tool, um, the reset tool is gonna to take anywhere on this international, it takes around 45 seconds to 50 seconds to start. So just plug it in and just start a timer and just see how long the force regen um, takes as far as uh, timing goes. So once force regen started, it's going to take anywhere from 30 minutes to 60 minutes to complete. Sometimes it takes longer just depending on how full your DPF filter is. Um, and that kind of gives you some information about how to start a force DPF regen on this international. Um, so it looks like it's been about a minute. We're going to go ahead and start the force DPF regen process. So right now I'm just going to jump in the truck and I'm going to go ahead and start it and then I'm going to connect the tool and we're just going to go ahead and just wait for the at least 45 seconds for the return to start. So after we have it plugged in, now like I said, it's gonna take anywhere from about 45 to 50 seconds to start. Once, the res once this uh, reset tool starts the force DPF regen, you're gonna to wanna to make sure the tool is plugged in and kept plugged in. If you disconnect the reset tool in the middle of a regen, it will stop. So you can't just start the regen and leave. It's recommended to stay with the truck to make sure that everything is working properly. All your exhaust temperature um, on your DPF system is gonna to increase to, because of the fuel that's added in the DPF system to burn off the excess soot. So during this time period, you might notice that there's a lot of smoke coming out of your tailpipe that could be that just it's burning the soot out of the DPF filter. So I would just notice that the, you know, your exhaust system is gonna get hot. So make sure you're in a good open area to run a force DPF regen. So once the regen gets started, you're gonna hear the RPM increase. And with this international, you're just gonna kind of see it bump up the RPM with the exhaust temperature light that's gonna be coming on. And uh, after the force regen completes, the temperature light may still stay on because your exhaust is still very hot. So make sure you just go ahead and uh, leave the truck running after a force DPF regen, just because it might take some time to go ahead and cool down. So right now behind me, it looks like the force DPF regen is, is started. Um, it looks like it's about a thousand RPM, which means that it's gonna keep increasing um, to get to the optimal RPM. 
and as you can hear behind me the RPM is going to keep increasing and the engine is going to sound louder. So just don't be alarmed, this is a normal Force DPF region that started with the OTR reset tool. And when, you, when the Force DPF region completes, the idle will come back down. So don't be alarmed if it stays at a high RPM for a long period of time because this is what it means um, to do a Force DPF region with the diagnostic scan tool. So we're just going to go ahead and let this region come finish off right now. Um, thanks for watching. You just watched how to do a Force DPF region um, using the OTR reset tool. We talked about doing reset fault codes, reset after treatment, and Force DPF region. If you'd like to learn more about it, you can visit us at otrperformance.com for more information. Thanks for watching.